Okay, welcome back to my channel guys. Now, if you're following along with my Rust uh, server tutorial series, then welcome back. If not, if you just want to know how to install the mod Better Chat on your Rust server, then you're in the right place and I will get straight into it and show you how to do it. Right, so first off, what you want to do is load up any browser you want and type umod in the search. Uh, if I can do that properly, there we go, umod. It, normally, it should be the first search that comes up at the top of the page. Go into the home page of that, and then what you want to look for is plugins and search for better chat. There we are, type better chat in the search, click enter, and there we are. The first one at the top is better chat by Laser Hydra, that's the one you're looking for. So click that and then click download. Um, I've already downloaded it, so it's down there, but there you are, it should be downloaded. So once you've downloaded better chat, you can then close your browser. Then what you want to do is load into your Rust server folder. So for me, that is my C drive. So C drive, it's under Rust server. So this is my folder with my batch file in it. And then obviously you've got the Rust DS file in, in that, which has got all my um, server files. So basically what we're looking for here is we're looking for this Oxide file. So we load up the Oxide file. And as you'll see, there is one called plugins. So what we want to do now is get our download of Better Chat, which is here. So I'll just take that one, the latest one I just downloaded, and I will copy that. And then what I'll do is I'll go back into my Rust server, back into the Rust DS folder, and into Oxide, and then into plugins. And this is where we're going to drop it in. But first, what we're going to do is we need the server loaded up before we drop the plug in. Well, I think you can do it without, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it whilst the server's open so you can see it load the plugin in. So I'll just load up the server and then I'll come straight back. Okay, so as you can see now, the server is now loaded up, as you can see. So what we'll do is we'll keep that there. I'll quickly just load into the game, and then I'll drop that plugin in, and I'll show you what happens and what to do. So I'll quickly load the game up. Okay, so the game's loaded up. I'm just going to quickly now load into my server. So there it is there. That's the one I've just loaded up. So let's join that. Okay, as you can see, I'm now in my server, and if I type something into the chat, because obviously the plugin isn't installed, it should be just like normal. There you are, my name comes up, and it's just normal text. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go drop the plugin in, and then we'll see what comes up in the uh, server console, and then we'll see how it affects in game. So, what we will do is we will drop. Um, so what I done, as I said earlier, I went into downloads, I copied the better chat file that we downloaded, copy, and go into the C drive, into my Rust server folder, into Rust DS, into the Oxide folder, into the plugins folder, and paste it in there. As you can see, it's pasted it in there. So now if I load up this, Ah, okay. It has to be called Better Chat because I've downloaded it multiple times. Obviously, it didn't like that. So, what we'll do is there we are, it's now loaded it. I've changed it to Better Chat. Remember, it's got capital letters on the B and the C. So, there we are, it is now loaded. Plugin Better Chat by Laser Hydra. So there we are, I'm glad I've done that actually because we learned something then that it has to be the correct name. So we go back into the game and if I type something in chat now, it now says bracket player and then my name. Right, so then what that means is if we go back out now to the folder and we go back one, so we're in the oxide folder now. Now there are, is a config folder and a data folder. And what these are is in these two different folders, whenever you install a plugin, there's 
things that you can edit on the plugin within these two folders. So I'll show you first. So if I go into the config file now, uh, folder now, see better chat. Uh, so if I right click and edit this one, it says here maximum number of titles. So for example, that bracket player was one title. So you can have up to three titles. Or if I change that, I could have one or five, depending on however many titles you want. And then obviously maximum amount of characters per message. So it's not a great deal you can edit in this file. But if we go over to the other one, I'll show you there's a bit more we can do. So if we close that one, because I'm not going to change anything. And I'll go back one, and then we'll go into the data folder. As you can see again now, there's a better chat. I think they're called JSON files. Don't know how you pronounce them, but as you can see. Um, so I'll right click and edit this one. And as we can see now, we've got a group called default. So everyone that joins this server at the minute will be in the default group. Um, as for priorities, we won't be touching on that yet, but um, we, I will step on to, into that uh, later mods when we need priorities, because at the moment, don't think we really need them. Um, and then as you can see, you get the text is player, and you have a color, and it is hidden false. So that basically means you can see it. And there we go. So what I'll do is just to show you some stuff, we'll change this to test. There we are. And then I will file and save that. Okay, so I've just saved that. So then what I need to do is go into the server window, the CMD, and we need to reload the mod. Um, so then what I've just done will take effect. So to do that, we type reload, sorry, oxide.reload space better chat remember it has to have those capital letters on the b and the c so i click enter it is now saying it is re unloaded the better chat and reloaded the better chat so now if i go into rust and type something it now says i'm in group test next to my name brilliant so then what we can do is we can go back into that same better chat file and we can change the color of that group name so all colors are in hex code. So as you can see at the minute, it is he uh, hashtag 55AAFF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to, let's say, I don't know, a gold or a yellow. Um, so let's quickly load up um, my browser. Oops. There we are. Let's load up my browser. And I'll type um, hex code for gold. There we are. So we've got one here. There's. Let's try FFD700. FFD so I go back into here and I change this to FFD700. File, save that. Okay, then, like I said, we go back into the server window and we reload better chat again. So, oxide, oxide dot reload space better chat. Enter, it's unloaded, reload it. Now, let's go back into the game. And type something as you can see now the little bracket that says test is now like a gold or a yellow color and you can do that with any color just google the hex code for the color and just replace it in the file save it reload the mod happy days um, a couple of other things we can do in the same thing um, as we can see in here now um, what you're going to want to do with most groups that you create you're going to want to make that it hidden um, for example, if you make admins and moderators or YouTubers or friends groups or anything that might add um, specific powers or um, 
whatever you're going to do with these groups. A lot of them might, you might want to hide them from people just so they don't know. If it's something that you want to show, then, then crack on. When we get to clan tags later on in another video, um, obviously you're going to want them to show and people can create them themselves. So anyway, so if you wanted to make this group hidden, what we can do is we can change this where it says hidden. We just delete where it says false and we type true. And then we file, save that again. Same thing again, back into the server window. Type oxide.reload space beta chat. Hit enter again, back into the game. Now when I type something, it doesn't show that I'm in the yellow test group. Even though I actually am still in the yellow test group, it's not showing everyone. Um, next up, what we can do is we can create, um, let's create another group um, for, let's say, an admin. So if we go back to our server command prompt window, what we can do is we can type chat group add and then we type the name of the group that we want to add. So we're going to type admin in capital letters. Enter. Successfully added group admin. Then if we go into um, I can close this better chat right there. Go into the server data folder again. And what we'll do is we'll edit this again. And as we can see now, here's our default group, which we call test. It's color gold and it is hidden. Now, some more text has popped up in this folder and it is called a group name called admin. Um, priority is set at zero, the same as that, so they got the same priority. Um, it is called admin, but I'm going to change this to capitals admin, and we're going to change it to a color red. Um, so if we go into Google and type hex code for red, there we are. Um, we can use FF quadruple zero. So let's go back into the bet chat notepad and it was delete here hashtag FF one two three four zeros and we're going to not hide it at the moment we're going to leave it on show. So file save that back in to the server command prompt window and let's reload better chat again. So we do that by op Side dot reload space better chat. That's reloaded again. Back into the game. And now if I type something, nothing. Because I'm not in that group. So what we do then is we want to add me to the admin group. So what I do there is you type chat space user space add. Then you put whatever's username in speech marks. So it's I'm called Adder. So I close them speech marks. And then you put what group they want to be added to. So it's going to be called the admin group. So I click enter. And now it says Adder was added to the group admin. So we go back into the game this time. And I type something. And there we are. I am now officially in the admin group. So there we have it people, um, this is a really good mod to have because it a it actually leads to a lot of other things, um, for example like clans um, with obviously different types of clan tags, um, it works with things like coloured names so people can just change the colour of their name, it works with things like player rankings, so for example you can have things where people when they've um, put in X amount of hours to your server, they could go up a different ranks, so therefore they get a different title. So this this is a really good thing to have and it leads to a lot of things. So um, And I will start to cover some of them in the future. So um, I hope this has helped you out guys. Um, if there's any questions or any problems you have, don't, don't forget to message me. I'll do my best to help you out. Obviously, I'm not an expert at this. I mean, I'm self-taught. I've done it. I made a few servers myself. So yeah, if if I've missed anything out or done anything uh, wrong, just message me and I'll help you out. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if this has helped you out or if any of my other tutorials have helped you out. And yeah, and I'll catch you guys later.